Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a quick little package video. Um, only the one game in here. Uh, now, I will point out, oh, sorry for a bit of a flat pack, cardboard box game. I will be having words with them because look what they've done. Uh, I should be able to straighten this out, but I will be uh, having words with this particular seller. It's from Australia. And um, yeah, I should be able to tighten it up. But anyway, it is Activision's Beam Rider for the Intellivision. I haven't had an Intellivision game for ages. Um, and we've um, Mark Vergia Lactobacillus Prime um, getting into various versions of Beam Rider. I realised I didn't have any version, an actual physical copy. And I used to play this game a fair bit back in the day. Looked around and had a look at this copy, and it wasn't too expensive. But I mean, you know, it uh, would help if the seller actually had packaged it properly. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, there they are down there. I was going to say I was pitched with overlays and I'm not seeing any so far. So it's a bit of a different box, so the whole inside slip out. And the manual sits in there. Then we have the cartridge. So in television, cartridges are a bit smaller than Atari cartridges. Put it up the right way. It's actually cool. I can't remember that artwork at all, actually. And we have some overlays. We've got two overlays, and they look like they're in decent condition. It's always cool to have the overlays. Yeah, my own television collection, which is over there. Um, I have, I actually have a fair few of the overlays for the game, so I haven't been doing um, too badly. But I haven't had an Intellivision game for a while, so it'd be very good to have a play of the Intellivision game, get it hooked up, and to see how well I can play Beam Rider, which I haven't played for ages. So, alright, let's go give it a go. Right, so here we go with Intellivision on the Beam Rider. Um, obviously, I have short controller, so uh, the cables on the Intellivision aren't very long, so unless you sit the whole Intellivision on your lap, which is not very comfortable, it doesn't make it difficult. Um, go straight into the game. It's just one for one play. You can play up to four players. So you have the um, docking screen. So I would not be expecting me to get a high score. I haven't played this in a very long time. I did play it a bit though. But it's a very hard game. You've got to keep on your toes. I'll do my best anyway. I'm going to go on the grids and get the enemies, the number of enemies you need to get is on the top left hand side and that's an extra life which if you shoot becomes something you need to dodge so it starts out reasonably easy but it doesn't take ah, long for the guys to start shooting at you you can shoot them as far up the grid as possible. There's a chance to get you. Get you. Okay, one more to go. Right, now you get this mothership and the block is coming down, so you've got to time the shot. And then you get a bonus for each of the lives that you have left. It doesn't matter how many missiles you got left, so you can as many as you want. So now we go for the second grid. So immediately it gets harder when you have objects like uh, asteroids, which are, true, which are a nuisance. <laughs> Enemies do come in patterns, but even so you can really when they're going to fire at you. Oh, 
do miss, you miss out on your bonus for that level. So I'm going to miss out on the bonus for that level, which is a big thing. I think I scored quite a bit. It's a silly one to miss. on the one level, I was lucky. So dog barks. Alright, last one. Very careful when going for those ones. Gotta watch that timing. You get a fair bit for hitting the actual thing too. Alright, so we build up a few lives, so that'll help. Build up a bit. I think from memory we get the yellow things that go across and go tweet tweet. Is there a new thing for this level? There we go. I'm not sure. sure. They go quite hard. Good judge. Ah, caught between. Couldn't, with nowhere to go then. So you probably do get a few, few points for those yellow ones, but they're a bit hard to hit. for him. And a good bonus because of the number of lives, which means we're going to discover a couple more levels at least. Five. I'm not sure what new we get other than it being harder. lives in this game is to get stuck in the corner. It's well worth getting those. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's getting pretty hard. Got a lot going on. Got a few lives. I'm expecting to have this many lives. At this level, let's see. It is such a well-made game on virtually every system that was brought out for this game. Challenging. Ah, didn't quite press the thing at once in time. I'm just so lucky I've got so many lives. Seven to go. There's a possibility of making the next level, you never know. Any more surprises for us? Ah, I'm 
down and then sits on one of your things slowly it does go away pumping down was amazing. easy to jump to why well, you know two lines okay seven to go we've got 22,632 let's see if we can get Yeah. 
hands. Me bonus and lost a life. But we are up to 26,000. I'm impressed. Never thought of it. Thousand six hundred and ninety-four sector fourteen beam rider excellent going on pretty much any system. Uh, this is the Intellivision version, which is the one I played back in the day. Um, although I probably did play the ColecoVision version, um, and I do have a copy of that on the way. Um, hopefully that'll arrive soon, and I'll have a go at that one. Hope you've enjoyed this gameplay and pickup, and um, potentially high score. Don't know. Uh, thanks to all my subscribers, and thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Thank you.